Hello, this is the Xiaoyan, and this is the lab report for lab three for physics twenty two twelve class. And in this lab, uh, it's designed for us to better understand the relationship between magnet and the magnetic field around it. And in this, uh, in this lab, we use a magnet and our mobile phone to test the mag magnetic field around the magnet to come up with the relationship between the distance from the magnet and the magnetic field. Uh, what we use here is the boyle servant law, and it's very important how we calculate the magnetic field. And the equation reads as follows: um, B is equal to mu naught divided by four pi times one divided by r to to the r cubed and times three mu times r and times r and minus mu. So that's what what we are given in our lab report sheet. And this is the data from my experiment. So, uh, when we uh, are testing, and we find our R is equal to twenty, and seventy, and one hundred twenty, and one hundred seventy, and two hundred twenty, in those numbers, and we calculate our distance, and those measurements are not uh one hundred percent correct uh, i mean not one hundred percent accurate because we need to consider there are errors that occur when we are uh, getting our numbers out and also with our testing devices and our testing location and the environment around and it's very very easy to have errors so we need to understand this this lab is designed for us to understand relationship and in the process of doing that errors occurs and there's also one problem is that our magnet is not very strong uh, compared to uh, other those strong magnets. So this is the graph uh, it gives me when I put all my uh, numbers into the uh, assignment sheet. So this line here, the best fit line for this dots, it is why it's equal to equal to minus 3.7548x minus 19.456, which in this problem is log natural of bx is equal to a negative 3.7548 log natural r uh, minus 19.456. And what I got here is n is equal to negative 3.7548, and the expected value is negative 3. So my error is about 25%, which is a acceptable value considering all the facts I talked before, uh, which uh, how easily the errors will occur in this experiment. So, when we are calculating the magnetic dipole moment, uh, we know that log natural k is equal to what we got in the uh, previous page, negative 19.456. And k is equal to e, e to the negative 19.456, which is 3.55 times 10 to the ninth, uh, negative ninth square, the t 10 to the ninth power. And here k is equal to mu naught uh, divided by 4 pi times 2 mu. And then what we got here is mu is equal to uh, 0 0.0178. And this number is extremely low, I know. So uh, you need to uh, be aware that because of the error in the experiment process. So it will easily result in huge differences in the final answers because here we have k is equal to e to the uh, minus 19.456 power. So that will result in a huge error uh, in this final value. So because this is a lab, so I'm not going to put any fake number in there. So when I put my value into the grid scope code, as a result, as shown on the right, you will see uh, the perpendicular uh, magnetic field and then our 45 degree. So the result does not match what is expected. As I explained before, uh, this is way off because of the error. A large portion of the reason is due to uh, those errors uh, in the measuring uh, process. So the result from our lab is that the x component value of the magnetic field increases as the uh, magnetic uh, meter moves close to the mag magnet. And same way when measuring from a relatively long distance from the magnet, the x component value of the magnetic field is almost zero. 
And in the calculation, we need to realize that the Earth is also a magnet, so we need to sub subtract that from our observation. And what if we haven't uh, oriented our experiment to compensate the magnetic north? Uh, if, we, if, if we're doing that, then th the Earth will have a larger effect on our uh, lab because we don't know how to subtract that from our measure value. And what if we have two of identical magnets stick together? Well, the magnetic field will be larger, but it, it will be around two times as what's here in this lab. Thanks for watching. This is everything for this lab.